Okay, so this is a movie chat, like quite a laid back one. I mean, all laid back. Yeah, like, well, for that well, thirty-five. So, well, list. I just, I just done my best thirty-five made films twenty thirteen list, and um, all those movies are um thirty-five movies in yeah, two minutes. Yeah, all those thirty-five movies in two minutes. I, I, there's a few I liked, but there's a lot I love in that movie. Um, but what that list shows is just how many good movies yeah, we had. In yeah, the, the because I, f I was gonna make like a twenty, but then I thought, oh no, wait, what about what was it? What about Pacific Rim? What about? And I was like, it's imploding, you yeah. know, with great movies. And I could go up to it. I, I feel could. like, I mean, a lot of people over the years have been frustrated with Hollywood and complained about quality. And I think it's been very just. But I think Hollywood really stepped up in 2013. I and think I don't think people noticed What that. the problem is, what everybody says, like, there's no more original films. First of all, every film is original in its own right. If there's a book to film adap adaptation, adaptation, uh, yeah. you'd adaptation. be original. Twelve is a slave. Original. It's. I mean, it's not original, but it's a book to film adaptation. In fact, there is more original films produced today than ever, and there is more films produced today than ever. I mean, we had great movies like. I mean, they, sure, they may have been based on on things like Rush was based on the life true of story. Uh, yeah, true story, Nick Lauda and and uh, James Hunt. Yeah. Uh, but then you also had films like Prisoners. Prisoners. Uh, Prisoners. Oblivion. You had yeah, big Oblivion. budget sci-fi that's yeah. not not based you know, on anything. Pacific Rim is Pacific actually Rim. it's original, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, um, there's a lot of great World War Z as a book to even, film. Even if you you get a movie like The Wolverine, original. which is not original it's not it's based on something we all know that was an original film there was no yeah the original before that aspects yeah. from comic books like old man logan and mm. stuff like that um a film like um american hustle it's it's as it says in the movie some of these things actually happened yeah it doesn't actually say this you, is you know what film you didn't put on your 35 list which what? is an, a shame i know you 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 said that uh there's certain films that you hadn't seen like wolf of wall street and all is lost fair enough but you need to also and viewers and listeners you need to check out pain and gain okay <laughs> you talk about it. american hustle pain and gain is the superior film really yes uh but a lot of people have a hard time talking about it because it's directed by a certain Michael Bay. How could it be that Michael Bay makes a powerful, dramatic movie about characters based on a true story? Watch it. But isn't it also similar to American Hustle? It says some of these things actually happen. That's what I mean. It's it, it's similar. No, Pain and Gain actually goes a bit a, a step further and says and tries to be accurate. You can like read about the actual events and my favorite moment in the film is when it freeze frames like there's a scene where it freeze frames because things are so crazy and it says it says uh remember this really happened it like reminds yeah. you yeah uh, uh, um that was speaking funny. of um there's a there was a lot of great superhero films this year wolverine 4 the dark world which i really enjoyed man of steel which i really enjoyed um i am free obviously i i detest but um also, people forget it's actually a really good year for comedies. Um, this is the end, which is hilarious. I, whenever I hear about the exorcism of Jonah Hill, I just like I crack up. Weird and Millers is actually a really funny film. I actually preferred Weird and Millers. I feel it was the best comedy of um, the year. Some people say American Hustle is a comedy, but I don't. It's a comedy drama. I in my crime caper kind of thing. I, yeah, I don't I, really see the comedy. I kind said of it. It to some someone. Moments, I said but... to someone the other day. I get an Italian jobish feel from American Hustle. Um, uh, I don't, I don't mi yeah. mix in with that. Um, also, action movies. Italian this year. job was funnier. Yeah, well, uh, there's um, action movies this year. A lot of action movies. Hunger Games: Catching Fire. Have you seen it? I haven't seen that you yet. You need to. Oh, well. Um, H Hobbit: Desolation of Smaug, yeah. fantasy film, um, which is really good. Where was that on your list? Number 18. Yeah. And I gave that like a four and a half. And you know that films are great when you're putting it at 18. Philomena, which is a beautiful film. Mud, which not a lot of people have seen. Uh, I've heard that. I've heard you and some friends say it, but that's about it. I haven't seen like the poster. The, uh, I haven't seen anything. It's like the stand by me of our generation. And that's a big thing to say. Um, it's a really good movie. It, you got the McConaughey in there. And... Um, obviously, my favorite film was McConaughey. He was the lead in Dallas Buyers Club. It touched me so 
Like I was crying in like I was crying watching that movie. I love Jared Leto in that movie. But my favorite performance of the year was by Jared Leto. Her again, another touching movie. And her is basically it is a sci-fi film. It's a sci-fi film about like falling in love with your um. It's about, it's an uh, artificial. I movie. don't know anything about it. No, and I'd like okay. to keep it that yeah, way. Yeah, okay, but Captain Phillips, another great movie based yeah. on true story. But that's an action movie. That is an action movie, and it's amazing. Twelve Years a Slave. Ah, it's amazing. I think Captain Phillips. I would call it more of a drama. It, yeah, it's it's, it's got it's got amazing performances. Mm. Tom Hanks in that movie. The last ten minutes of Tom Hanks. Wow. I mean, that's a snub at the Oscars. As I said to my friend after watching Captain Phillips, Tom Hanks outacted himself. Yeah. In that. And that's that a was, very powerful that was that was Tom Hanks like I'd never that's seen him before. Nervous. Whoa! Thank you, computer. At the end of until uh, very recently, Tom Hanks, my favorite actor on the planet. Up to very recently, now it's Gary Oldman, but um, I I think Tom Hanks is one of the best actors of all time. He's I think he's my third at the moment, just behind Daniel Day Lewis and Gary Oldman. Um, Saving Mr. Banks is a wonderful little film. Nebraska original is so touching. American Hustle is great. Frozen is amazing. Blue Jasmine, all these movies. I think the but yeah, I think you know you, you highlighting it. Twenty thirteen yeah. needs to be given the respect. Twenty thirteen. For I'm just gonna for, say, yeah. best year for films ever made. Best year for films ever. I don't know. I can't think of a year that was better. I, I can't. can't. Maybe yeah. there has been, but I'd be willing you know, to see comments maybe before, if anybody can, can maybe, claim a better year. Yeah, maybe before my time, maybe before your time even. Mm. But as I've far just, as just sheer quality. As I remember, sheer quality of acting from people like Matthew McConaughey, Wacken Phoenix, Jennifer Lawrence, Lupita Nyongo, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Kate Blanchett. Chris now, Hemsworth uh, before, even was before good. Before we go, before we go, I want to ask you a couple questions here. All right. Is it is? All right, all do you right, think this right. happened because we weren't expecting it? You think? Well, how, why do you think it happened this way that we look back and we realize that? You know what? You know what I saw when twenty thirteen was happening. I didn't realize it. Yeah. Um, really, it was the end of twenty thirteen, which really.